EKGs is what we were going to talk about and someone had asked about uh, they they were having trouble getting their EKGs covered in the uh, Medicare I have no uh, idea why yearly physical this. so they were I, billing annually for EKGs <laughs> there's a gremlin in my computer moving I my think slides. you're right I'm saying that the doctor and the patient were had the understanding that EKGs were covered in the initial you know uh, uh, physical for Medicare it just keeps skipping it doesn't it and this this is not true uh, an EKG is an additional test that's done if you have a condition that indicates it needs to be checked so you know um, uh, what they're checking with the EKG is the rhythm of the heart and um, I actually put a picture on here if if you see the EKG machine I knew some of you would understand that's where they they put the leads on you and uh, have you lay still and uh, actually you know those red strips they always show at the hospital how they used to hold up that ticker tape and you know and they'd say something about the heart if a person has a uh, bradycardia tachycardia um, afib you know those types of things if they've had a previous heart attack in the past and didn't know about it that actually shows up on these EKGs so uh, that's why it would be done you know if a person was having chest pain even shortness of breath uh, they would maybe run an EKG it's it's not a standard I don't want to say it's a, a standard test not I mean you have to have an indication for it but it it gives you a lot of information and it's a simple test to do and gives you information quickly to tell you if further uh, testing needs to be done but it is not a part of the uh, yearly physical for Medicare unlike if you have a cardiac condition then you know it, it would be understandable that you would do that one of the places you can go to check that out is cms.gov and uh, check Medicare I actually put a link there if you click on that Lorena I think it I hope the link worked and um, uh, when you go in there just you know, I typed in what will Medicare pay for you know yearly physical what what's covered and this is this is where it brought me so you could go in and see what the provider would uh, be able to do for you for that yearly uh, physical and then you know, go back Lorraine I think I cut out a comment and pasted it it okay this is this is what I found out and oh what I am in tests are covered and there look where it says Medicare Part B medical insurance you know, covers a one-time screening EKG if you get a referral from your doctor or other health care provider as a result of and it your and it's going to say at your condition I uh, pasted it on there so it's not that they don't cover an EKG it's that you have to ultimately show medical necessity to to get an EKG done and have it reimbursed so what you need to do if you're doing billing and, and again billing is not something I am as good at but I did call a couple billers that I know in fact right uh, tonight when I was coming back from um, Wichita and uh, they both indicated they had not heard that Medicare would cover that and then um, I went in and found that um, things change with Medicare so quickly so if I tell you today it doesn't cover it you don't know that next week they won't so what you need to do is you need to find out what Medicare uh, will cover the one biller told me that they're contracted out with a company and she, of course I was on a cell phone in the car uh, trying to get here so it I, I can't remember exactly what she said the name of the place was it was like Nana Ga uh, gassed or something but they're contracted out to take care of their uh, uh, Medicare billing she does the billing and then it, it goes through them and they kind of proofread it I guess is what you would say they would be able to do so if you're working as a biller check with who you're contracted with find out what the details are and make sure you're up to date with that I, I'm sure there's newsletters as well inform the doctor inform the patient uh, 
a lot of time if you're working in a, in a private office, it's the responsibility of the, the biller and the coder to inform the patient of what's covered and not covered. So, um, you know, if they come in and think they're getting an EKG and they get one and it's and that it's covered, they're going to be upset when, when Medicare says they're not going to pay for that. Um, but ultimately, uh, with any procedure, make sure it's covered. I do, in the HCC, I do um, daily, uh, the, the yearly physicals that are done for Medicare, and never is an EKG on there. Very seldom. Lab work, stuff like that. Uh, once or twice, maybe in, you know, and I do 80 a day, you might see one, but the person has a past history of either an uh, old MI, which is 412, by the way, and um, or uh, some type of AFib, um, for, let's see, 47 point, no, 423 point, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, anyway, um, but they're going to have, you know, AFib or or um, some type of an arrhythmia that uh, will indicate that they need an EKG, uh, EKG done. Four to seven. Man, I can't. That's one I have memorized. I can't do it. Anyway, that that's about it. So, um, um, if you're getting denied, just just follow up. Find out why. Get on the forums. Ask them what's going on. The different coding forums. What's going on? Are you getting this paid? How are you getting it paid? What do I need to tell my doctor? Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.